Okay, here is the review on trigonometry. So on number one, here's our triangle. It's a three, four, five right triangle. So opposite hypotenuse adjacent sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's the answer. I just need the ratio. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the answer. Um, tangent is opposite over adjacent three fourths. That's the answer. Cosecant is just the reciprocal of sine. So instead of three fifths, it's five thirds. <coughs> Excuse me. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so it's five fourths. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it's four thirds. That's it. Um, on number, come on, in, you guys, I'm recording, but the review is right there. Okay. Um, all right. So I have a post. Okay, so you guys can, can listen to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, number three, what you know on three right off the bat is pair of opposites. So if you know a pair of opposites, you're going to use the law of sines. So I'm going to find uh, angle C. So it's sine of C over 19 equals sine of 44 over 15. I multiplied it by 19. Um, I got a decimal and I signed inverse that decimal and I wound up with 61.6. Okay. And then I need to find the third angle, angle B, and I knew 180 degrees in a triangle, so I added together the two angles subtracted from 180, and I got 74.4. And then finally I needed side AC, which is little b. So I went uh, opposites, right? B or sine of 74.4 equals 15 over the sine of 44. I multiplied that up. I used my calculator, I got about 20.8. Now the area is 1 half adjacent times adjacent times the sine of the angle. So I got about 137.25. You could have used any of the angles. I just chose those two, okay? On the next triangle, I know side, 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 so I'm gonna have to use the law of cosines. Um, I picked angle X to find out, so that makes that adjacent, adjacent, opposite. So Law well, cosine say it is adjacent squared plus the other adjacent squared minus, subtract the opposite squared, all divided by two times the adjacent times the adjacent, right? When I did that, don't forget your parentheses. Got to remember your parentheses in your calculator. I got a decimal 0.6154, and then I took the inverse, cosine inverse of that, and I got about 52 degrees, okay? Then once I have an angle, I, can, I have my opposites, okay? So then I get my opposites set up. And if I have my ops, I can use the law of sine. So I found the sine of y. So it's sine of y over 21 equals sine of 52 over 18. There's my ops. I multiplied by 21. I used my calculator. 21 sine of 15 divided by 18. I got a decimal, about 0.919. But it's sine. I need the angle. I need the angle. So sine inverse of 0.919. And I got about 66.8 degrees. And then, of course, in a triangle, there's 180 degrees, so I added the two acute angles. I added that one plus that one, and I subtracted from 180 degrees, and I got 61.2, okay? Um, number six, um, I, again, if I'm going to find the area, though, I need this angle here, okay? So the first thing I did is I set it up to find that angle, okay? So I did my side X over, oh, back it up. i got to find that angle. Um, yeah, it's up here. There it is. Got to find. I have to find that angle. So, sine of b over nine equals sine of thirty-five over eight. I got my angle to be about angle to be about forty when I use my calculator. Sine inverse, and then I subtracted from one hundred and eighty. So I needed that sine to do opposite. So once I get opposites, actually no, I can just go straight to area. That's all I need. Well, a b I used. I did use the sine of b for x over sine of one of four opposites, right? 8 over sine of 35. I multiplied, I got 13.5. Finally, area is 1 half adjacent times adjacent times the sine. 1 half adjacent times sine, adjacent times the sine of 104.8. I could have used any of the angles, but I just chose that one. Okay, and that, so I wound up with about 34.8 centimeters, 34.8 centimeters squared. Okay, um, almost done. Okay, on 7, um, I know that in a circle, so there's 360, in a circle is 360 degrees, so I divided my central angle by five, and I got 72, okay? And then I also knew that I wanted these other angles, so I took 180 minus the 72, gave me 108. It's isosceles, so I divided that by 
um, 2 and I got 54, okay? You could have made it into a right triangle. I don't know, I just chose to do it this way. And then I wanted to find this side, so I set my opposite, x or the sine of 54, equals 22 or 70, sine of 72. When I multiplied up the sine of 54 and used my calculator, I got 18.7. So here it is. Here's, my, here's this triangle here. And now I know I'm going to go 18.7, 18.7, because they're equal. One half adjacent times adjacent times side of the interior angle. I got about 166.5. Um, that's for the triangle. And then I multiplied that by 5. And I got about 832.7, I guess, centimeters squared. Okay? You could have dropped a right triangle straight down. You could have done it that way. I chose not to. Okay? Number 8. Okay? Um, 42 degrees here. Um, so I drew that angle in. Use my protractor. Right? You got to get your protractor. 18 degree angle here. I drew that in with the protractor. Um, this, I didn't draw a 9. I just scaled it down. Um, but I called it 9. I scaled it down by half. Um, I didn't draw this um, 7. I just scaled it down. But I am going for 4 hours. So then I multiplied by 4. I got 36 and 28. So 4, 4 hours longer. Okay. Now I need this angle. So 42 and 48 makes 90. 18 and 72 makes 90. So my middle angle of this triangle is 120. So then I'm just going to use the log cosines. Log cosines, I'm going to go um, C squared. I call that C. Adjacent squared, 36, plus adjacent squared, 28, minus 2 times adjacent, 36 times the other adjacent, 28, times the cosine of the angle, 120. I got about 3,088. Took the square root of that, because it's C squared, square root of that. And I got about 55.57. Now, to find the bearing, okay, here's where it gets tricky, okay? First of all, I put the ship here, drew its own little um, north, east, south and west okay so here's the boat sitting down here okay took this picture put it down here okay they need this little angle here because they need to take their compass look at their compass and travel this distance here to get to boat a okay so what they do is i do know that these two lines are parallel north south north south that's 18 and that's 18. if i can find angle b i'll subtract 18 from it that's what i did i found angle b by the law of signs Sine of B over my 36 equals sine of 120 over my 55.57. Um, and I wound up getting angle B to be 34. So if the entire angle B is 34.1. I subtract 18 from it. And I got about 16.1 degrees. Or you can say north, 16.1 degrees um, east. And that's your bearing. Okay. All right. That's what I have. Um, I'm pretty sure also we'll have that double triangle one to, to do. But... You guys will have to wait and see, okay? That's all I have. Come see me if you have any questions.